This kite is intermediate level. Welcome to Activity TV. I'm Cliff Quinn and these are my friends Damien and Susanna. And we're here to show you how to make a dragon kite. Sometimes we use tools that require supervision, like scissors. So have fun creating your kites with an adult helper. Now here's what you'll need to get started. Two colors of ripped stop nylon, a four foot piece of bamboo, cloth tape, pencil, scissors, gold tinsel. To print out a list of supplies and step-by-step -step instructions, please visit www.activitytv.tv. Dragon kites are a very cool kite. They originated in China. Let's get started. We're going to use ripstop nylon for the tail and ripstop nylon for the head. We're going to take a piece of bamboo and we're going to form it into a circle. And we're going to tape the circle closed. Can you put a piece of tape right at the end of this right here? Sure. Okay. And then wrap it around a couple of times, around and around. Okay. And we're going to do that once more on the other side. There we go, nice and tight. And, and I'm gonna just take my fingers and I'm gonna roll the tape just a little bit to make sure that it's real tight. Now, what we've just done is we've made a circle with the bamboo and that's gonna be the frame for the head of our dragon kite. The next step we're going to do is we're gonna take the frame and we're gonna put it down on top of the sail material. And then we're gonna take a pencil and we're gonna draw a circle with our pencil all the way around the edge of this bamboo frame, okay? Does the circle have to be perfect? Oh no, it doesn't. It just has to be at least an inch away from the frame. Okay, now we can take a pair of scissors and we can cut that line, okay? And now what we're going to do is if, if we don't do anything else to the, to the sail and we start to fold it, it kind of like looks yucky. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some slits in it, okay? So let's center this in the middle and then we'll take our scissors and we'll just snip like that. Okay, now that all of our slits are completed and we can place our frame on the center again. Okay, now I'm gonna take a piece of tape off of my wax paper and I'm then going to take and fold over one of the tabs that we made a minute ago. Okay, and I'm putting a piece of tape on it, all right? And that's good, that's all we have to do on that tab. Where do you think we should put the tail on this? Sort of an oval right, like this. Yes, would think you we think? We should put the tail like right here. I think that's a good idea, okay? That's fine. This is the material that we're going to use for our tail, okay? And this is ripstop nylon also. And we're gonna fasten it to the back side of the dragon's head, all right? And we're gonna do that with tape. Now, what we want to do is we want to position it, and I think this is a, a good location for it. I think what we should do is take and draw a line from here over to here. So this square corner isn't flippy floppy out in the wind, okay? I think that'll be good. Let's do this. We'll take our tail and we'll fold it in half 
in this, this line that you put on it, we're going to cut on that line with your scissors and I'm going to hold the fabric together and you're going to cut them both at the same time. And then when we open it up, they'll be identical, okay? Wow, that was good. Okay, now when I open up the tail, this cut and this cut are identical. That looks good. See, we're even here and we're even over here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line like that and we're going to cut on that line. This is extra fabric and we don't need that. Oh, that's fine. It's like a half a circle, isn't it? Now, just let me take that and I'll just come over here with my scissors. That looks great. Oh, it does. I think it does. Okay, now let's do some taping again, all right? Now, let's turn it over and see what we have. Oh. This is beginning to look like a dragon head already, doesn't it? Look at that. Now, what do you think we should do next, kids? Why don't we decorate it? I think that's a wonderful idea. I think I have something that'll do a real good job. I have some gold tinsel that I put together. And these were individual strands that I put into a bunch. And I put a little bit of tape around the end. And look what I ended up with. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I think that if we put one over here, and I have another one just like that, that we could put over here, that would look wonderful. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Well, let's do this. Let's tape it on, okay? Wow. I think this is a wonderful kite. Are you ready to fly it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks for joining us today. Good wins! To learn how to attach a string to your kite, check out Fly a Kite in the On Demand menu. Want to continue the fun? Well, there's always more cool activities to check out on our website. Just visit www.activitytv.tv. Made for On Demand.